app.storeschool.com and in this short video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to prepare your app screenshots for submitting an app to the Apple App Store. This is milestone four in the seven milestone roadmap to publishing your first app in the App Store. You can download this PDF at appstoreschool.com for free. Uh, the the, the step four, step four, five, and six are all related. Uh, they come after the first three steps, obviously, where you create and test your app. Uh, four, five, and six are all about preparing and submitting for review. Uh, step five is creating a product website, which is another video. Uh, step six is very easy. It's just taking the work you've done in four and five and uh, filling in the details in App Store Connect. Uh, step four, we're going to I'm going to show you how to use the Xcode simulator uh, to quickly and easily create the screenshots um, at the exact size required. So let's take a look at our, our product page in App Store Connect. So in this video, I'm going to show you a sticker pack app called I Love Cats, which is, as you'll see in a minute, a bunch of uh, cat stickers. And uh, here we are preparing for submission. And right here, uh, on the left hand side at the very top um, under iOS app you can see the very first thing it's prompting us for are the screenshots and we uh, Apple requires at the very least one screenshot and up to 10 screenshots uh, per device size uh, as well as three optional previews which are videos I'm not going to show previews in this um, video I'm just going to show a quick and easy way to fulfill the requirements for the screenshots. Uh, now take note here, there are four different sizes here. Uh, there's an iPhone six and a half inch display, there's a five and a half inch display, and then two uh, 12.9 inch uh, iPhone, sorry, iPad displays. Uh, and, and it's worth noting here at the bottom, a little bit lower down, under the iMessage app section, uh, there's an optional place for uploading screenshots uh, if the app has a corresponding uh, iMessage sticker pack app. Uh, which this does, i.e. it's, you know, it's a sticker pack app, so we're going to copy and paste, or we're going to upload, I should say, uh, the same set of images into both sections. Okay, now the quick and uh, the, uh, easy way to do this, again, as I said, is in the simulator. So if we come over here to Xcode, let's take a look at our project. Okay, I'm in Xcode here, and here are all my stickers. So there's a lot of them in the sticker pack, and I want to take screenshots of these. And so what I do is I come here to the simulator dropdown, and what I know is that the iPhone uh, 6.5, which is the very first option here, remember it was, it was the iPhone 6.5 inch display? Well, I know that if I select the iPhone 11 Pro Max, amongst others, but in particular the iPhone 11 Pro Max, in the simulator, I'm gonna bring it up here. Um, okay, here, here here's a... a a preview of the sticker pack and here's the iPhone 11 Pro Max outline in the simulator here's our uh, header bar there showing us the that it is indeed an iPhone 11 Pro Max running iOS 15 okay in here at the top right this camera icon if we click it it will take a screenshot of that image you can you, you saw it, it took a screenshot and then what I can do is I can scroll down to the rest of my stickers take another screenshot and so on and so forth. Now, the nice thing about this is, let me go back to um, my uh, finder here. Um, I've gone through three different sizes and, and created uh, screenshots of these. So for the iPhone uh, Pro Max, you see here, these are the default file names that it, that it saves to the download folders on your Mac. Uh, it's a simulator screenshot is the prefix, followed by the device name, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, followed by a timestamp. So in my case, um, I created uh, three sets of images. I, I used the iPhone 8 Plus to correspond with the iPhone 5 and a half inch display. And then I did the same thing with the iPhone uh, iPad Pro 12.9 uh, fifth generation to fulfill the requirements for, for both the, the third generation and the second generation. It's a little bit confusing because these don't match up perfectly. You know, for example, again, third generation, second generation here. When I come to, this, to the Xcode and I look at my simulator list, um, you know, there is no second and third generation 12.9-inch uh, iPad. There's only a fifth generation. But the good news is it's the same size dimensions. The dimensions are the same, so I chose the uh, fifth generation. And, and, and just real quickly, we'll take a look at uh, the, 
the, the set of images. Again, for our iPhone Pro Max, um, uh, I took 10 screenshots and those 10 screenshots were enough to encompass the entire sticker pack. Um, in the case of the iPhone 8, I needed um, eight, sorry, I needed uh, 12 images, uh, which is more than is allowed. So we're going to take a look at uh, what happens when, when we try to submit 12 images. And then in the case of the iPad, because it's a larger screen, I did not need as many screenshots. Um, so what I did for the sake of the iPad is I availed of the rotate tool. So back in our simulator, well, I'll show you in a minute. Uh, in the simulator two week tool, we can rotate the device. So here we have uh, the, the set of images in landscape mode on the iPad, as well as portrait mode. And again, in the simulator, um, in the simulator, this button here at the top right is going to rotate our image. So if we want both landscape and portrait, uh, we can easily do that. Okay, so now we've got our images. Uh, the next step is to simply upload them to the um, App Store Connect. So let's go back here to our window. And all we have to do is come to each one of these sections here and select Choose File and upload it. Now, I'm going to intentionally select the wrong ones. Uh, I, I, I sometimes do this accidentally when I forget which, which uh, size corresponds to which uh, uh, dimension. Um, so I'm going to actually incorrectly select a couple images from the, the iPhone 8 Plus for the six and a half inch display. That is, that's the incorrect. Okay, this is why I did it. Uh, when, when you do this, uh, here's the error message. Uh, it tells you the dimensions that you need. So, so here we finally uh, get the dimensions. So it's saying the dimensions should be 1242 by 2688 and it gives us uh, four more options there. And that's fine. I was expecting that. But if you forget which dimensions you need or if you forget which one corresponds, which, which set of screenshots corresponds to that, and not to worry, just, just pick one and try it. Again, you only need three sets of screenshots to fulfill all the requirements. Let's go back to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, select all of our images, we're going to upload them, and now it's saying, yes, we got this, we'll use your six and a half inch display apps uh, for, for all of the corresponding uh, devices of this size. And uh, it's going to work away there and upload our screenshots. So users on the six and a half inch display, when they come to the app preview, uh, they are going to see the set of images. Now let's come back to our, let's move on while that, these are uploading. Um, and actually, um, it's possible to drag and drop these. Um, and we can delete all of them if we're not happy. We can delete individual ones, move them around. So you, have, you, you can do that on your own time. I won't do that here. Going to the five and a half inch display, let's go back to choose file. And we know that is the iPhone 8 Plus. In this case, I'm going to select all 12, even though it only allows us to upload 10. And here we got the warning. Uh, you've already added 10 screenshots. Um, it's a little bit misleading because we've actually added none. Um, we're going to do this again. And I'm just going to have to leave off the last two, I guess. And now we'll try to upload there. And there it accepted that. And then likewise, here for the iPad sizes, let's go to our, our, our uh, iPad 12.9 fifth generation. And there's only the six images there, so it's happy with that. And the nice thing is it uh, uploads, it shows them in the order alphabetically, i.e. so based on our timestamp, um, it's the order that I took those screenshots. And let's come here to our iPad uh, second generation, 12 and a half inch, 12.9 inch display and do the same thing. And there we are uh, uploading, uploading it goes. So there are the set of images. Uh, we'll let them finish uploading. Actually, I'm not sure where. I'll give these a second here and just double check that they are all there. And then in the meantime, um, down here in the iMessage app, it's the same set of images. So I will go through, I won't do that on the video because it's exactly what I just did above, but we go through here. And the difference is uh, the app store ecosystems are slightly different um, for the iMessage app. Uh, so we, when you, you know, text a message and you, you, uh, you browse at the bottom of that, that, that bar for, you know, adding images and whatnot, it opens, it opens up the, um, the iMessage ecosystem 
Um, it shows app previews and app descriptions. And so these are the screenshots it shows down here. Uh, uh, and the reason they have two is because there are some apps, a lot of uh, property apps have both a um, an iMessage app as well as a regular app. And so the, the sets of images are different. In our case here, it's a sticker pack um, that is the app. So the set of images is the same. And again, let's just double check that everything is here. iPad Pro 12, uh, second generation. Here's the third generation. There's our iPhone 5 and there is our iPhone 6. And voila, our step four uh, is complete. Prepare app screenshots. Uh, the, uh, the remainder of the steps, create a product website, and, and uh, the, the other steps here are in other videos at appstoreschool.com. So please check those out if you're interested. This PDF is a free download at appstoreschool.com. So uh, please help yourself. I'm Dan, appstoreschool.com. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the app store.